So all that is in readiness for the men's Kieran gold medal write-off. Matthew Glatzer from Australia, Peter Lewis and Shane Perkins. An Australian trifecta, maybe something dreams are made of. Awang from Malaysia, Dawkins and Webster rounding out the top six from New Zealand. So Matthew Glatzer turns 22 next month. Here's Prince Edward. He's been here most nights, actually. Enjoys the cycling at the Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome. And plenty of green and gold on the start line. Not really a lot for Prince Edward to be cheering about. The Antipodeans taking prominence with three Australians, two New Zealanders, and also a Malaysian in there. There's Shane Perkins battling a back injury. He has soldiered on manfully. He's had to come through the reper charge, but he's managed to get there. Peter Lewis and Matthew Glatzer, the big tall man from Adelaide with Sam Webster, who has been very quick every time he's been on the track. And how do the nerves go here? Scott McGrory. Well, this is the worst part of it. Once you get into the race, it's, you can settle your nerves down. But just now, the anticipation. Just waiting for the start to happen. That's Matthew Glatzer, young South Australian. Very fast rider. Still got a few years, I guess, to uh, develop his, uh, his race now and his technical skills. And the Scottish rider, number 87. Just getting across there and yeah. pretty much celebrating and enjoying it in earnest. Oh, well, that's Chris Pritchard uh, <laughs> who made his way into the 7 to 12 final. Uh, and maybe he might have just popped the question with the young family. He's done something quite momentous, but we'll stay on track with our boys here. Bottom of the track here, closest to screen, closest to the camera, I should say, is Sam Webster gold medalist in the team sprint and the individual sprint. So going for the triple, young New Zealand rider, former triple junior world champion. Oh, there it is. It is a proposal. I think he's getting the ring on the finger. He's trying to work it through and the ring goes on the finger. So we've got a proposal and an acceptance at the Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome, all happening. Well, he seemed to be uh, not very focused in the 7 to 12th ride. Now we realise why, don't we? So Sam Webster at the bottom of the track. Matthew Glatzer sitting to his right. Then it's Shane Perkins. And the Derny whistles by. The riders will form up behind it. A gold medal in the offing. Three Australians, two New Zealanders and a Malaysian rider. The Derny will circulate until two and a half laps to go. It will then depart the track and the riding will be on in earnest. Each lap, though, it increases the speed. We have Matthew Glater, Peter Lewis and Shane Perkins. And it's Matthew Glater tied in behind the Derny. So you can see the three Australians, all with different coloured helmets. So the black and white stripes on the helmet of Matthew Glater in first position. Sam Webster with the white gloves of the two New Zealanders. One with white, one with black. Webster with the white gloves. Then it's Pete Lewis with the dominant white on his helmet in third position. Tucked down in behind him, Azazul Arwang from Malaysia. Shane Perkins with the multiple colours on his helmet. And then the black gloves in the all-black outfit of Ed Dawkins on the end. Sixth position for him. He had a crash competition a couple of years ago and fantastic little quote when I asked him how he was he said I'm from New Zealand we don't feel pain well you'll be feeling a bit of pain here pretty soon as he goes into the final couple of laps but he'll be trying to push it to the back of his mind two Kiwis three Australians and one Malaysian no doubt about it and the Australians already with a gold to Steph Morton in the women's event and looking for another gold medal here Three Australians in it. Matthew Glatzer leading out. Sam Webster. Then the white, dominant white flash of Peter Lewis on the helmet. Behind him, Awong, Shane Perkins. And now we've got a bit of a move from Ed Dawkins as the Derny will depart the track and the riding will be on in earnest. So be very careful. You're not allowed to go past the Derny before that middle of the, the uh, back straight there, two and a half laps to go. But Ed Dawkins, the big powerful Kiwi, straight around the outside. That's Matthew Glatzer in second, Arwang in third, Pete Lewis sitting in fourth, Webster and bringing up the rear is Perkins. Glatzer certainly keeping an eye on Arwang. He needs to be looking in front as well. There's the bell, 250 metres from home. Dawkins, a big frame of the Kiwi. Glatzer tries to get up on his shoulder. 
heading down the back straight. It is Matthew Glazer in position one at the moment. Trying to get over the top of him is Sam Webster, but it's Glazer who is glittering in Glasgow. Matthew Glazer takes the final gold medal on the track. Sam Webster in silver, and then Arwang will have bronze. We'll wait for the official photo, but Matthew Glazer has ridden to prominence. This is the final run to the line. Matthew Glazer pushing his bike all the way, and by half a wheel, Matthew Glazer has taken gold in the men's Kieran. He wasn't sure, was he? he? Took a lap or so to actually realise he wasn't sure when he threw to the line. Webster are coming fast around the outside, but we're talking about that speed of Matt Glazer. He's such a fast rider. He had a dream run with Dawkins coming around the outside with uh, a lap and a half to go. That was perfect. It was ideal for Matt Glazer then just to get into the slipstream, step out down the back straight, and just use that speed that took him to the fastest qualifying in the men's sprint competition. Here it is again. Coming around the outside of Dawkins, down the back straight. Webster flying around the outside. Arwang boxed in, trying to get through as they come into the final bend. Perkins caught too far on the outside, too far to go around the outside there. And I was thinking Webster, if the downhill run into the finish, might have been able to get over the top of Matty Glazer with that top end speed of the young South Australian. Just enough with the big arms throwing to the line to hold on for the gold medal. Fantastic way to finish off the track cycling program for the Australians. He needed all of his 190 centimetre frame to push the bike over the line. So Matthew Glazer. Gold medal, Sam Webster, the Kiwi with the white gloves in silver medal position. And as is Arwang, our man who had the splinter in the leg three years ago after the crash in Manchester, has taken out the bronze. Matthew Glazer looks to the heavens and says thank you very much and gives the thumbs up as well. What a terrific way to finish the track cycling program. Of course, we've got Aussies on the road, two days on the road. We've got a day at the mountains as well. So plenty of two-wheeled action. Look at the celebrations. Oh, yeah. Gary West, the national sprint coach there. Very happy to see that. Good on you, Matty Glazer. Look, he's a fantastic young man. As is Ola Wang, he was happy with that as well. Gold medal for Ed Dawkins in the team sprint. He's okay with that. So Matthew Glater, Arwang with the bronze, and Sam Webster has secured the silver. There's Webster there, and there's Arwang. So that's your medalists. And <laughs> look at it. So much respect because it is a real uh, push and shove affair. It's uh, no holds barred, and the last man standing was Matthew Glater. If you missed what Ed Dawkins said there to Matty Glacier, he said, you mad dog. And I can tell you, Matt's about as far from a mad dog as you can get, but I know what he means. <laughs> it was just a fantastic performance from Matt. Matthew Glacier, gold for Australia. Sam Webster from New Zealand with the silver. And Aziz Awam from Malaysia taking the bronze, followed by Perkins, Lewis and Dawkins. And the medal ceremony is not far away. And Matthew Glazer will enjoy this. Look at the big frame. The mouth was opening. The air was being sucked in like a big V8 supercar that he loves following. And Matthew Glazer found the energy, the rhythm, the timing, the slingshot, the whole affair to get across the line first. The final lunge as Webster's coming down the outside. And you see Arwang trying to squeeze through between such a crafty rider, the Malaysian. It's that mono across the line as well. Shane Perkins, just a little bit too caught up on the outside there to get round and finish it off. But still a great performance for Shane. We've spoken about his back injury. Gold for Matt Glazer, but a well, uh, good performance there for Shane Perkins. He'll have some time now to recover, get his back in order, and he'll be looking towards the World Championships next year. But it's number one for the young lad from South Australia. Congratulations to Matthew Glazer.